Why do the hoses used for air refueling have these weird white baskets on them? Well, there's two types of air refueling. The first is called the flying boom, which uses a rigid metal tube that extends from the tanker and attaches to the aircraft. But this method, called the probe and drogue, uses a flexible hose instead, which allows more versatility as the system can be fit on a much wider variety of aircraft. The problem? In the high wind environments you might expect from this predicament, a hose on its own would be unstable and flop around everywhere. That's where the drogue comes in, attached to the end of the nose, which provides aerodynamic stability for the hose and keeps it from flopping around. But if oil and dirt builds up on it, it becomes a lot less efficient at this job, so ground crew have to somewhat frequently pull it out and make sure it's kept clean. 